I'm fixing to do an upcoming video. Just want to kind of give you a preview. So this is the back of a simplex board. It's the fuses right by the power supply. So like if you had 24 volts going out to a duct detector or something like that, this is what it would feed through. So somebody's already done a solder job on it or what they uh, attempted to call a solder job. So what I'm going to use to clean this up, I'm going to use, uh, let me get focus so you can see, GC braid. So basically you heat up, you pull some of that braid off, you see it right there. A copper looking braid yeah, and I got my soldering iron right here it's just a little cheapy soldering iron it don't take much to do something like this and then uh, you put the soldering iron on the back of the braid and touch it up there it'll suck all that solder so I'm gonna clean all that up um, before I begin um, so these are what the new fuses look like. They got five of them. That is a five watt fuse. I've never seen one like that before. I guess like everything else, it's getting everything's getting smaller. But excuse me, five amp, not five watt. Uh, made a boo boo there. It's just like a little thing called a micro fuse. That's the part number for it. So I'm gonna flip this board around so you can kind of see what what I'm dealing with here. So what somebody did in the past is see how it has a fuse coming down with a lead there's a lead on that side same for this other one but what they did was whenever those two fuses blew in the past they just stuck another one right on top of it and then soldered it on there but they got it so hot that it and it melted all kinds of stuff on the back of the board and charred it a little bit so you can see the where they used the flux and stuff like that or probably rosin core but let me see if I can get it to see I can see it with my eyes I mean move this over top of it here I'm gonna put the phone down for just a second See, see that where it blew the solder out? See that white coming, going. So, I'm going to build that up a little bit. I said we'll clean all that up, and it was working. One of the technicians blew the blew the fuse, he cut the 24 volts on a duct detector and it blew it. You can see the center core string right there. Well, so with it disconnected you can put your fuse, uh, excuse me, put your multimeter across there and set it to ohms. Just look and see do you have a dead short across that fuse. If you have it open, you got a bad fuse. Don't do that with power on, please. Um, so you can see where battery hooks up. 24 volts, so on and so forth. But this just screws right onto a power supply on the simplex panel. So, anyway, uh, please like and subscribe. And I'll, like I said, on the next video, I'm gonna um, 
I'm going to show me soldering this. I got to figure out a way to mount my phone. I'm thinking about mounting it from above. Something like that. That way I can work and you can you can see what I'm doing. And uh, I tried to get some flux, but they didn't have any flux. Just to make things a little, a little easier. But So, all right. Uh, like I said, please like and subscribe, and uh, this should be the next, the very next video that I do. I've had some people request uh, me start doing videos on older, older type fire alarm stuff. So this, this will be something you could do on an older fire alarm panel. Uh, it's resoldering the fuse. So what doesn't make sense is they put a snap in fuse here, but didn't put it there, and that's the ones that blow from. Somebody shorting out 24 volts. So, alrighty.